Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on database management system. So in this video, we are going to look at introduction to schema refine. Okay. Yeah, so let's start. So first of all, let's see what is meant by schema refinement. Before going to see what is schema refinement, it is also called as normalization. Okay. So other name for schema refinement is normalization. Right. Now let's see what is it. So it is the process of reducing redundancy and decomposing tables. Okay. So in this definition, we also have the answer for why we use schema refinement or normalization. So why do we use? We use it for reducing redundancy. Okay. And what do we actually do for reducing redundancy? We decompose tables. So you take a big table and you decompose it into maybe two or three tables okay so how do we decompose and all these things we will see in the uh, future videos right so what is the goal of normalization it is for reducing redundancy so what what happens if you have redundancy why do we need to reduce redundancy means because of redundancy we have different problems that is you will face problems when you insert data when you update data and when you try to delete data from the table so all these things are called as anomalies so when you insert update and delete data from the table we will be facing different anomalies so in the coming uh, few minutes i will show you an example of a table and i will explain all these three types of anomalies okay and the last thing is when do we perform this normalization so you can see here normalization or schema refinement is performed after converting year diagrams to relational schemas okay once you get the relational schemas then you will perform normalization right okay so what are the different problems due to redundancy of data as i already told you you will face update anomalies insertion anomalies and deletion anomalies and of course because of the duplication of data that is redundant data we will have redundant storage that is more storage is occupied okay so these are the different problems that are faced due to redundancy of data in a relation or table okay right now here is the example so you can see a table here this is the employees table so you have six columns here so take some time and see the data in this table okay right now if you focus on these last two columns there is some redundancy right so you can see there is this department id 2 development 2 development and again 2 development so the same data is repeating for three times okay uh, so what is the problem with this so let's see the problems now so first one is updation anomaly okay so what is this means so if you see here uh, the department name for the employee Srija is development and for Rajiv and also Puja is also development so they belong to development department right now um, let's say in the future the company has decided to change the development uh, name the department name to implementation okay so in the database also we should make the change right so this development uh, field has been changed to implementation but whenever you change this you have to also change this one and this one right so if you forget it it will be a problem okay so this is called as updation anomaly okay so if you change one value you have to change the other copies of the data also okay if you don't change you will you will face inconsistencies when you are writing queries okay so this is updation anomaly and next one is insertion anomalies so see here the example that i have given 
we cannot insert a new row into this table until and unless we know the DID department name and experience values. Okay. So this EXP means experience, experience of the employee, two years, three years, one year, etc. Now you see here, uh, this Srija has three years of experience and Raju has one year experience, maybe a fresher or something and Pooja has five years experience. Okay. So Pooja is the senior in development department. Now if you see here, mm, the salary for Srija is 50,000, salary for Raju is 20,000 and Pooja salary is 1 lakh. Okay. So why I am saying all these things means, uh, you can't decide the salary just with the DID and DNAME values. You should also know the experience value. Right? So until and unless you know all these three values, you can't insert a new row in this. So this is called as insertion anomaly. Right? Okay. And the last one is deletion anomaly. Now, if we remove this record number seven, which belongs to Shomesh, who belongs to the accounting department, let's say this person has left the company. So he's the only person in the department and he left the company. So we are removing this record from the table, employees table. Now, if I try to list all the departments, what are the values you are going to get? You are going to get sales, you are going to get development and you are going to get marketing. Only three departments you will get. Then what happened to accounting? The department is there, right? It won't come. Why? Because the data has been removed. So such kind of anomaly is called as deletion anomaly. So the information regarding the accounting department is completely lost. Okay. Right. So that is about insertion, updation, and deletion anomalies. And then we are going to talk about something called functional dependencies, FDs. So I will talk about FDs in detail later. So let's see something about that. So what is the use of these FDs is you, you can use them to identify associations between attributes okay uh, for example you can identify that there is some association between did and dna why because whenever the did is two the d name is automatically developed so this is called a functional dependency so it is used to identify the association between different attributes in a table okay and once you find the FDs, you will try to normalize the tables or relational instances. Okay. So what is this normalization or what is this schema refinement is? You will divide this larger relation or table into a set of smaller relations or tables. Okay. And the goal is to reduce the redundancy. And this process of dividing a large relation into set of small relations is called as decomposition, right? The process of dividing a large table into set of smaller tables is called as decomposition, right? Okay. Now you can see here, our larger employees table has been divided into two tables. So this is employees table and this is departments table, right? So one table is divided into or decomposed into two tables. Now, if you see updation anomalies will be gone. For example, if I want to change development into implementation name, I can change here. Okay. There is no need to change anywhere. Right. And also if you delete, if you want to delete this row, which belongs to show mesh, you can delete it, but still we got the department name here. It is not deleted. Okay. So the deletion anomaly is gone. Okay. So I hope you understood uh, what is schema refinement and why do we perform schema refinement and when do we perform schema refinement or normalization.
and also the different problems that occur due to uh, this redundancy of data that is update anomalies, insertion anomalies and deletion anomalies. So please like the video and also subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts you can always comment below the video. Thank you.